What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the Clear Cryptos Education Channel. My name is C. Hobbs from the Crypto Shop. Of course, you know I got my man Jay Seals with me. What's going on, brother? What's good, everybody? All right. Today on the channel, we're going to be going over some news in regards to Binance and their missteps on compliance. Now, Binance is one of the larger exchanges or the larger exchange in the world. So misstepping on compliance is kind of a big deal. So I'm very interested interested to see what this story has to bring us. So, Justin, take us away. All right. So leading cryptocurrency exchange Binance had gaps in regulatory compliance in the first few years after its launch. In 2017, its company's chief strategy officer, Patrick Hillman, told the Wall Street Journal in an interview, Hillman revealed that Binance had missteps during the implementation of its security measures, such as the Know Your Customer KYC protocol and the anti-money laundering AML rules designed to combat money laundering activities. Hillman blamed the shortcomings on a lack of staffing as the exchange's small team was stretched thin, focusing on compliance, cybersecurity, and expansion at the same time. The firm improved its headcount with more than 750 employees over the last two years. Hillman said Binance also recently hired a new chief compliance officer, Noah Perlman, a former chief operating officer at rival exchange Gemini. Hillman also revealed that Binance is currently in talks with United States watchdogs for possible or settlement to halt existing regulatory investigations into the business operations in the country. The DOJ, the IRS, the SEC, and the CFTC have been looking into Binance, its business structure, and its financial reserves over the past few years. I swear the U.S. is coming for that ass. Oh, my God. Oh. The Alphabet Boys in full force. It's crazy. The CSO further stated that the company is highly confident and feeling really, really good about where those discussions are going, noting that the authorities are very collaborative. So, I mean, look, in a nutshell, they came out, there were some hiccups, but they fixed what was the problem. And, you know, this was all before the um, whole FTX collapse, before Duquan and Terra. But it's good to see the fact that the United States government and the Alphabet security boys are taking crypto <laughs> seriously in the sense that they want to make sure that people's money is safe and in good hands. I wish they would have done the same thing to FTX, but, you know, what can I say? Better late than never, I guess. Oh, man. All I can say is I pray, I hope that the CSO of Binance is they're they're getting this together because the last thing the crypto market needs after somewhat recovering right somewhat getting out of that big dip that we had just starting to get a third of the way up from the all-time highs the last thing we need is for binance to absolutely get into any type of real trouble right we understand that sometimes there are missteps things happen so this to me is a it's not a big deal as long as they take they've taken care of it so Hopefully this doesn't happen because if Binance collapsed, the entire crypto market is going to take a massive hit that I don't think we can recover so recover from. So it's kind of where I'm at with it, Jay. What do you think? Yeah, no, nah, I agree. Actually, let us know down in the comments, what would you do if Binance decided <laughs> to collapse? What, what, what would your first move be if you heard of a Binance collapse? I know my first move would be to pull everything, get everything nah, out of there quickly. The, I'd pull a Jim Cramer. Sell, 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 sell. That's exactly what would happen. I would sell everything. So, yeah, I would, uh, I would sell everything and go right back to cash. And I think everybody would pretty much follow the same thing. But Mike Justin said, man, let us know what you think in the comments down below. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check us out on Twitter. Daytona starting this weekend. So make sure you tune in on FS1, Clear Crypto's race car, driven by Caesar Baccarella. That being said, my name is T. Hobbs from the Crypto Shop. That man above is Jay Seals, and we'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.